Hi, I'm David Morovitz. Hopefully you saw our previous video about unboxing the C2K1 kit from RTI. Today we're going to show you how to program it using Apex 10.2. It's going to be a quick 10 minute demonstration just to show you how quick and easy it is to put together. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to program the C2K1 kit in uh, Apex today. So this is version 10.2, so it's released in, uh, in January uh, 2018. So I'm going to start by adding in the processor, so this is the XP3. And we're going to create a simple little cinema room today, so I'm just going to add in the cinema. I'm going to add my iPad. Obviously, as we know, the license uh, is embedded in the XP3, so uh, we're going to add the iPad in. I'm also going to use the Pro 24Z remote control, so I'm going to get those added in. We're going to do a simple system today, so it's just going to be a Sony TV a Anthem AV receiver and a few IR sources. So I'm just going to scroll down and find the driver for the Sony TV. So this is an IP control driver. And scroll back up to Anthem. So I'm going to add my MRX receiver. Now you can see this box is checked for set as room audio source, so that's going to automatically map the volume commands. I'm going to add a few infrared devices. So I'm going to start with a SkyQ box. And I'm just going to add that to port 1 from my XP3 processor. I'm going to add a Sony Blu ray player. And finally, an Apple TV, and that's going to go on to port 3. Okay, so that's all my devices added. So we now just need to program our interface. So I'm going to come to the home page of our iPad here. So we're only using three buttons today for our three sources, so I'm just going to get rid of the ones I don't want to use. Just going to grab these and just centralize them a bit. Just going to add some titles. Find the Apple TV. Just going to add some images to these buttons. So I'm just going to find a, an image for the Apple TV. We'll just go go ahead with one of these today. Of course, you can choose whatever image you like. Just going to find a Blu-ray disc. Put that on there. And a SkyQ box. We now just need to add the tags, the activity tags to our buttons. Okay, so you can see these are now set. So activity Sky, activity Sony Blu ray, activity Apple. And we need to go ahead and create these macros. So this is going to be the activity macro to turn on all the devices and get them into that zone. So obviously I'm going to power on the TV. Oops. I'm going to power on the skybox. And I'm going to power on the Anthem AV receiver. We're going to need to put in time delay to allow the TV time to boot. We then need to do the input commands for the receiver. And of course we also want to do an HDMI command for the TV to make sure it's on the correct HDMI input. Okay. 
So that's all the commands we need to do. I now hit copy, I go to my Blu-ray, and I hit paste. I change my sky command to a Sony one, so obviously a power on. I change my HDMI input to HDMI 2, and I leave everything the same. I then hit copy, find my Apple TV, paste again, and I'm just going to put in a menu command here just to wake up the Apple TV, and then change the HDMI to HDMI 3 for the Anthem AV receiver. Okay, so I just repeat the process on the Pro 24Z remote. So again, I'm just going to delete the buttons that I don't want. Apple TV, Sony Blu-ray. Sorry, Sony Blu-ray and Sky Set Top Box. So a little Sky Cue there. And of course, I'm going to use the same images, so it's uh, easy for the for the customer to use. Nothing worse than having different interfaces looking looking different. You want them all to look roughly the same. Okay. Now the page links are already complete here, so if I now go to my Sky Setup box, I can see on my iPad, I can see all the buttons are pre-programmed, so that's all done for me. Okay, all the transport commands and everything. All I would need to do is do some preset channel icons. Again, if I go to my Pro 24Z, again you can see all the hard buttons are pre-programmed for me, anything with a green tick signifies it's pre-programmed. You can see the volume here as well, so the volume commands are already done. And just to prove the points, if I edit the room macro on the volume up command, you'll see that's going to redirect me to my Anthem MRX receiver, so that's going to do the, uh, the volume for that zone. So the only thing we'd really need to do is do some presets. So I'm going to create a source macro here, for preset one, and I'm just going to add in the channel number. So for the argument of today, I'm just going to use simple channel numbers. So for preset two, one zero two, and we'll just do three for the argument of today. But obviously, you can continue and do as many as you uh, as many as you wish. So I'm just going to go back to my interface. You can see the ticks appear, so we know that the programming is being done. And then just need to find some nice icons. So BBC One. Should be a BBC Two one in here somewhere. There we go. BBC Two. And ITV. Okay, so there's some favorite icons. Of course, anything that we don't want to use, we just delete. And if we want to change the name, we can obviously just change that to Sky Q, making that nice and simple. If we go back to the iPad. Again, we can change that name from Cable Satellite to Sky Q. And you can see my presets are already done. They just require the images. So I just add those on there. And obviously, it looks quite small on my screen because I'm quite well zoomed out, so I can give you all the whole picture. But I promise you, when it's actually on the iPad itself, these icons are uh, more than big enough. And we're all good to go. So essentially, that's all the programming done. Um, we need to do a power off page, of course, but that takes uh, just a minute to do. Um, so hopefully that shows you how quickly we can actually achieve a single room solution within Apex 10.2 and using the C2K1 kit. Okay, so hopefully you can see how quick and easy it is to actually program the C2K1 kit. Um, for more information, visit our website, envisionuk.com, or call us here in the office on 01359 270280, where we can give you some more information.